Pikachu, I choose you! Oh no, Kira's gonna do that. He's stealing my lines. Well, you want me to start these things off. Anyway, time to play good old Pokemon Stadium. Battle! So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it that I'm probably gonna lose. Let's but see. if we were to play mini games, I would win. And we certainly will play mini games. So let's see. Battle. Rental, register. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Should I look away? Yeah, you probably should. Alright. So while I am picking Pokemon, why don't you tell me and tell the folks there when you first got exposed to the wonderful world of Pokemon? Uh. When did Pokemon debut? Let me see. Ninety-eight. Googling when did Pokemon come out? 1996. So probably 1996. Uh, I, think, I think it was dubbed in 98 though. Well, whatever. Because the games came out in Japan in 95, and that's my weeaboo moment there, knowing that. Well, pretty much when it became popularized over here in the U.S. of A. is probably when I got exposed to it. Gotcha. And what drew you to it? You're asking me to remember something from when I was like three or four. I can remember lots of stuff like that. I can't remember lots of things like that. Okay, well I guess I have Chinebio then. You are a Chinebio. So do you. you live in Chinebio. So do you. I don't have 50 Pikachu plushies. I don't have 50 Pikachu plushies. She's totally lying. I, I have like, I don't know, like 15? 15, folks. Ish. I don't know how many I have. Well, I mean, it's Kai's bought most of them for me, so I don't want to hear any of your ish. Day one is H. Because it's like, ooh, I'd see a Pikachu that I'd like when we were at like Target or something when we were in college, and what would Kai do? He would buy it. So I don't want to hear any of your ish. Because Kai and I have been together for a long time. Maybe too long. I don't know. You tell me. Okay. Now I'm out of here. Thanks a lot. Oh, it's a joke. I don't think it's funny. I'm going to the corner. No, you go to the corner. I think the first thing I ever saw of Pokemon was not the game, but actually the show. You might want to come a little bit closer to the, the uh, microphone. Yeah. Dear. Well, I think I first saw the... What was it? The episode where they're all at the ranch with the ponytail? Oh, I love that episode. Who was it? Laura Laramie? Yeah. Hey, y'all! No, it's Lara Laramie. Whatever. Lara Laramie! Yeah, and then I wanted the game, and I got the blue version, and I got pretty far into it, and then for some reason I lost the data, but... Good job. Then my cousin was really into it. He had to be a master, the CD, and... To be a master. He's like, hey, Misty's in love with Ash. I will be fighting, or writing a whole new chapter, Pokeball Go! Go! Yeah, but what happened na, 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 is, na, 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 na. he introduced me to fan shipping for the first time, and I'm like, I have my cousin to thank for that. But, you know, the funny thing is that when I heard about Red and Blue, I thought they were two totally different games, and I want to, and my parents did buy me the Red version too, and, uh, I'm like, this is the same game. Just a couple things are different. It wasn't like Yellow version, which was pretty retooled. And it is my favorite version, besides gold, but I became a Pokemaniac and my second graded teacher hate, hated Pokemon. And he would ban it from class. Hey, I got manga banned in, in middle school, so. Oh! Tell this story, why <laughs> don't you? On how you right, killed see. manga. Alright, so I was in middle school and I had a teacher who knew I was big into anime, big into manga, and she didn't care because I was a good kid, did my homework, you know, didn't act up in class, whatever. One day, in a different class, there was a kid 
who was reading the first volume of Full Metal Alchemist. And anybody who has seen full, the first episode of Fullmetal Alchemist or read the first volume of Fullmetal Alchemist, you know that the first, um... It isn't PG, that's for certain. The first volume is, uh... Pretty... Well, we thought pretty similarly, didn't we? The, the first volume is pretty, um... Pretty graphic, with like a lot of like gore and blood and stuff. And a teacher saw this and asked if it was school appropriate. And and my classmate said, "Oh, I sure hope so." And then apparently it got brought to the school, um, the school's attention. And so, and one of the teachers said, you know what, I have a student who loves, um, I love anime and manga and stuff, I, and I know that she'll be honest with me, I'll ask her about it tomorrow. So, so the next day, I get asked whether or not manga is appropriate to have at school. And so I gave, I, I'm, of course, hey, I'm a pretty honest, hits. I'm a pretty honest person, and I was, and I said there are some manga that are, that is school appropriate, and there are some manga that's not school appropriate. Um, and I wasn't told the full story for a while, but when I got asked that question, I was like, yeah, there are some, and there's some that isn't, and then, what do I know? The next day, manga is banned. And you were public enemy number one. And oh, nobody knew that it was me. Nobody knew that it was me. You know, to be perfectly fair, even the most childlike manga series was totally made... Well, I guess it was translated from the Japanese and there was a little more allowed. Like, oh, I'm in trouble. But, um... Like, I distinctly remember what happened with... What's its name? Oh, I saw Shonen Jump and they were doing Yu-Gi-Oh! in it. And for some reason, the subplot to this was Joey got a hold of some kind of girly movie. And he was talking about, oh, how so cool is it? I watched it like this, and he was narrowing his eyes, and Yu-Gi really wanted to see it. And yeah, just freeze me, why don't you? But... And then, like, Teo was talking to you. He's like, you know, you're a really nice boy. All the other boys just like to peek when the girls make their shots at basketball. And he was thinking of Taya's panties. And then, at the tail end of the whole, when this story is over, Joey gives him the tape. He's like, enjoy it, you dog. <laughs> and then Taya's like, hey, what do you got? Let me see the movie. And she takes the tape, and they're all scared. So, yeah, even Yu-Gi-Oh! Not kid-friendly in the manga. We were allowed to bring, like, the lowest tier manga. Like, I don't remember what the manga ratings are. I haven't read a manga in a while, except for, like, well, I, I read them on my phone now, on the Viz Media app. But luckily, Naruto, what I was reading uh, at that point, was in that rating. And honestly, I don't really think that they enforced it, because, um, like, a month later, we started a, a book club so that we could read manga. I mean, it is a book. I mean, you could read video game instruction books up there. That's what I did when I was a kid. I did a little bit of that. Those are great collector's items. You know, sometimes you can find the PDFs. I used to use them to draw the characters. It works. But, man, I remember middle school. <laughs> They wouldn't let you have any fun at our middle school. Okay, so... We actually went to a very good middle school. Don't well, believe Kai. No, no, believe me. These people were nuts. We went to a good middle school. I mean, yes, it was safe, but... Well, safe it was a, it was a It was a good middle school. There was good teachers for the most part. We got a good education. We had good after-school programs. Bullying was rampant. Bullying was rampant in every Teachers did not do a dang thing. But I don't want to get into a huge thing here. Uh-oh. 
Raleigh took steroids. Savage hit. Oh, I didn't even know what that did. I thought I created like a smoke screen. But, um, first of all, you know how when we were kids and we saw all of the shows that made middle school and high school look like he had so much freedom. Well, first of all, no open toe shoes, no gum chewing, um, no... I, I, so Kai is two years older than I am. I think at some point after you left, we were allowed at least gum. Yeah. Oh, oh, the big thing was no backpacks. You were yeah. not allowed backpacks. You had to carry binders all the time. Yeah, that and got this, old. And who remembers binder flipping? Luckily, that's one thing that never actually happened to me. Happened to me all the time, and I did it to some other people. Oh, that's why you got happened to you because you did it. Well, I did it only like a couple times. It happened to me constantly. But th that's because I was one of those geeks, man. I mean, so was I. Um, I was I was cyber bullied like ridiculously in middle school. And the biggest thing was they ostracized. Well, not ostracized. Let me. I'm getting ahead of myself. What happened was. You weren't allowed to sit with who you wanted at lunch. Your fourth or fifth period group, you had to sit with them. And you had to sit in, a, in the order that you lined up with. Is that Dragon Ridge? Yep. And so if you were at the end of the line, you had to sit at an overflow table by yourself with nobody. Now you sat at the overflow table with other kids at the overflow table. And usually... for that year that I actually had to do that, me and all my friends would just go to the back of the line so that we could sit at the overflow table together. You got lucky. Then again, me and my friends were smart. Yeah, you, your experience was better. You did it better than I did. So I won't. And then after Kai left, we were actually able, allowed to sit wherever we wanted. And so we had two tables that were like in the... In the so you know you have two like rows of tables, right? We had a, a, a very big aisle in the middle that had two tables and the two different groups that I was kind of back and forth with. Yeah, but the point is the school shouldn't have been doing that. You guys were not in elementary school. We were not in elementary school, and they should have let you sit with whoever you want. What did they think? Oh, you're going to get into some kind of trouble. Yeah, the trouble was happening. Because they know what, because they know what middle schoolers are all about. Yeah, they were they were so afraid that you all were going to reach Shonen Jump up there. No, I didn't survive that. But... In high school, that all changed, and in college, none of that ever mattered. Nope. And Kai and I also went to the same college. We have lived here for a while. I've lived in, in this area, like, my entire freaking life, except for two years when I lived in a different area when I was, like, right after I was born and gotten out of the hospital. But college, it is all worth it. It is all worth the experience, to, at least in my opinion, to be on campus because you get to meet all kinds of friends and the egos are out the door. People just want to get their degree. But you make great friends. You learn different, all sorts of different things about, you know, just growing up in addition to your academic studies. Let me see. And the freedom that you feel. And you have to learn responsibility with that. You know, we've all... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. But you, you know that, wouldn't you agree that most of your, like, I don't know how to phrase it. Do you feel like you grew more in, like, high school or college? I feel like I had a lot of growth in high school, but I feel like I had a lot of growth in college as well. Yeah, I'm kind of like Due to the way that I did high school, and I don't know, when I started high school, I was, I don't know, but the, I joined ROTC, and ROTC really made me learn responsibility. And I think, and really turned me into a different person. Yeah, I did it just for one year, but... I did it for three and a half. Yeah, but I agree with you that the difference in your confidence is instantaneous. Oh, I don't even know what I picked. I think I meant, meant to hit one thing yeah. and I picked another. And that the martial out. arts just increases your confidence, increases your... No, well, I wasn't able to do martial arts. I know, I'm just saying things that are similar. I wanted to do martial arts, but the my brother was in martial arts for a very short while, and then we found out that his 
Sensei was a sex predator, and that pretty much was the end of that. From there on in, I pretty much stuck to just after school programs at like at like school, like um, like chorus. The chorus is the main thing that I did until high school, where we didn't have a chorus. Then I joined ROTC, and I did a bunch of clubs in ROTC. And will you stop digging? I've only done them once. Twice. No, I did psychic. It's not the first time this match you've used dig. That's how you got my Pikachu. I didn't say this was the first time. Oh, yeah, I have used some more. You're correct. Well, it's not gonna get me. I'm a I'm a floating head. You're floating. That shouldn't have got me. I'm a floating head, and now I'm dead. You win. Well, you're already dead, so. <laughs> yeah, Kai wins. He always wins. This was actually a really close fight. Was it really? It was two to one! Oh wait, three. Whatever. Yeah, three. You want to change team combinations or do you want to do what you really came here to do? Let's do what the people came to see, the minigames. Okay. I thought they wanted to see the Hall of Fame. So yeah, that's... Go to the Burger King Kids Club! Great food! Something, something kids only. I forgot what it was. Do who's the best. Woohoo! Just, just good under ready. Looks like we're having a bit of a problem here. I say. Just good under ready. No, okay. Hit A. A. I did. Hit A. Play these regular games. All right, so we're gonna be digging. Dig it up, 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 up. Oh, man. Uh, I hate the button mashing games. It hurts. Ah. Uh, because anyway. you gotta do left and right on this one. It's so hard. Oh. Play a different game. I think that since we figured this out, we could probably go to who's the best. Okay. We have kind of got to fix this thing. Just whatever, it's fine. Whatever, we're gonna learn anyway. Oh! Kerp, 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 So during the po our days of Pokemon Go, my days of Pokemon Go, yeah, Kai never day. played it. Whenever I catch oh, or dang. see a Magikarp, I go Kerp 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 Kerp. Will you use the advance Kirk, on your Jesse's salary to buy one? Ah, Kai won. <laughs> Two wins. Okay, I'll fix that. Whatever, we can just do multiple rounds, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just, none of this matters. It doesn't matter, man. Snorwar, oh man. You just press an A. Yeah, it's the Metro. Take. Barry should be doing this one. You are getting sleepy. Uh. Very, very sleepy. Yeah, the drowsy ASMR channel. Starring our favorite ASM artists. When I ring this little bell. Ah, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, bro. No. Well, you whooped my behind. I never win that one. That one's usually computer wins that one. Uh, and then and then I just pass out. Well, you earned it. Who gets to choose next? Random computer. The same computer who chose this one. Catch you later, computator. Oh, I'm not too good at this one. Aim and fire. Back in. What about your Charbuckle? 
Oh, I can't turn the stick very well. Oh wait, no, I got it. I, have to, I, I can't turn my stick, I gotta turn with it's my with the, the Yeah. Pad. Yeah, I'm not winning this, I'm, I'm too far behind. Well, we're all at one, so... Dude, that Diglett looks angry. What did we do to him? A little harder. Oh, but not that hard. Oh, I finally got one. Oh. I, can, I can never win this game at the carnival. The computer, yellow computer is whooping us. So that's a golden dig like he doesn't look like a dig yet. I win. Cause I got two golden diglets. And look at me. I know that is the happiest reptile I've ever seen. Player two is Le Champion. What have I become? It's Le Champion. Le, and her, Le Champion. I think that we're already on. Okay, maybe that's three. What? Run. I said run for us. Run. Which, honestly, that movie isn't that good. Well, it's not better than the Shawshank Redemption. Hot take right there. Just that press movie. start! Hey, I want to tell my movie opinion. You can tell it. Ah. Uh. Come on, I used to be really good at this. Run, Riley, run! That's well, it, right? There we go, that's how you do it. I'm so freaking far behind now. Yeah, but you forgot to ask the real question. Who is nerd? Tyler Nevero? I found your wallet. I'm Tyler. This is my wallet. Good job, Tyler. Brennan MJ, we love you. Everyone from Power Rangers Dino Charge, we really wish you'd do a third season. Dig. If we ever meet Ty uh, the, uh, Brennan MJ, I want to do that song he did with Shelby. I'm gonna travel the world, turn it upside down, keep on believing in you till you come around. Ah. Go, go, uh, I had this on the other I the still day. have the Triceratops, Triceralots to part stuck in my head. Four wins to become the champ. I, I, had the, I knew the lyrics the other day. I'm gonna travel the world, turn it upside down, keep on believing in you till you come around. Anyway, I gotta watch. I, I have the video saved on Instagram, so I need to find it so I can learn the lyrics again. Cause I want to sing that song with with Tyler. Oh, that was so close. And those magic heart died without water. The end. Oh, I suck at this one. I forget how we can do it. What am I doing wrong? I don't know, you have to hit the A button when it's blue and the green when it's B. I got it so well. Got I don't even like, I was trying. Nothing was happening. No, whenever the light turns blue, hit A. Whenever I was! I don't know no matter what I was doing, just nothing worked. I don't know what's wrong with the controller. You're wrong know. with the controller. Maybe, I don't know. <sighs> Come on, man! Oh, I think it's- I've got- see the city and lights in the sky- 
guys forward to our hearts will be good as one just me and you uh -huh. come on I did that feather light come on Ah, oh, I pulled back to work. Oh. I'm not catching up. <sighs> this is what I get for talking big. Well, you won the last time. They're really playing the games that I have won. Oh no! Fairy, fairy, fairy. I'm gonna lose. The best student wins. Well. Oh, whoa, whoa, I pressed way too many buttons. I think I think my controller's set on pressing double buttons. Up left, up right. Oh, I messed it up. I think I messed it up too at the end. Yeah, please win this. Up, up, right, down, left, up, down. Up, left, up, right, down, left, up, down. I think I messed it up. Yeah, I know. Oh god. Oh, great. How did I mess that up? Uh, I think the, the controllers, sometimes even when I configure them, it still says, oh, you're pressing diagonally. No, we're not. Hopefully the, the yellow computer wins so you get a choice. No, well, okay, you can win this one. We need to do some keyboard tapping or some whispering. I think I'm better at the games on um, Pokemon Stadium 2. 2? This is ASMR with whatever TM this is, hypnosis. Ty's not even trying in this one. No, I'm not. Because I know I'm not going to win. And I, I can't even tell if I'm winning or losing. When you start rocking back, that means you're losing. You lost. I win. I shake my butt and pass out. Sounds like me on a Friday night. Wow. <laughs> Gosh darn, you're the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> well, I thought that was funny. It was fun. Pick the lick a tongue game. Harden. Oh, do we have to sit there for a few hours on Misty Tans in a bikini? That in the episode, don't blame me. Ah. Had a bad. Ah. Oh. Come on, bro. Ah. It's a fight to the finish. Okay, you need to stop leaning forward. Oh no! Hey, finally one more. Yeah, seriously, don't lean forward because you blocked my view. Right here on this. 
Okay. Lick tongue. Lick tongue. Tongue tongue. Lele 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 lele. Lele 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 lele. Woo! We're back. Baby Cha, what's that? Shanaru! Leo! You ate my sushi. I don't care. Isn't that the name of the game? No god. No, oh, I don't I believe. I had more than well, I didn't have more pricey items. No, because you kept stealing. You kept stealing mine. No, we all at least have a chance to pick. Go, oh, Sandrew! My Sandrew was like, nah. Like, not even gonna gonna work today. For the teams Ah, uh, I think Kai just won. Yep, Kai just oh, won. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. Uh. No, Kira's actually really better at these than I am. This is just luck, and I don't know if I can do anymore. Yeah. I think this is because I've been writing fan fiction all day, and so Kai's like, "Let's play video games." When you've been writing fan fiction all day, including I didn't about know that. including about five seconds before we were, you know, playing this game. Because <laughs> that's all I seem to do. Work. Yeah, because that's what you're doing on your phone. It's like, oh, what are you doing? Check at Twitter? No, let's see what I can make these people do. There's a lot of shenanigans, and it may involve kissing and things that are not PG-13. Uh, no, that's what Kai is writing. What? Alright, I, I think we need to leave before we get into trouble again. So, from all of us to you, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening or day. Kira, do you have anything else to say? Confused Kira is like the highlight of the show. Stay classy.